Welcome back to this small explanation of how you could have traded today's day. We're using these settings, so we're using daily projections anchored from Midnight Open. As you can see, as soon as the new day starts, the levels get plotted. Let's shortly recap what the levels mean. So basically, we have manipulation levels and we have distribution levels. If we are expecting a bullish candle, ideally, we would like to see price trading towards that manipulation level, make the low around that time and then expand higher towards the distribution level, ideally around that time. Why these times? Why these levels? Basically, what the indicator is doing, it is uh, making statistics of the last 182 Tuesdays and it measured how far price manipulated and how far price distributed. So it's basically just making averages of the ranges and on average price formed their low on bullish candles in this range and their high in this range. The low at this time, the high at this time. Let's see what happened. Usually we are expecting the low to form around this time but ideally yep we would like to see the manipulation level being hit. Once that level is hit, let me just mark that out, this was the level. We would look on lower time frames to see if price shows some willingness to trade higher. In this case, we traded above this level and above this level, so either could technically be used to go long. Okay, price trades lower again into that bullish fair value gap. within that order block or mitigation block and from there price continue to trade higher. Um, a low hanging fruit target could be these equal highs or these equal highs or these equal highs. Price trades lower again into that rejection block overlap with that mitigation block again. So this could be a potential continuation trade. Let's just do it for the demo purposes. And price trades higher again. And we could, once we take out this high, we could technically close this position again. However, if we go on with the hourly again, we see that we expect price to trade even higher towards this distribution level. However, it's always um, recommended to take partials around important levels like for example this previous daily high or this London session high. What was also additional confluence was that ES, a correlated asset, took out this Monday's low. As we can see if we go to the ES, we see this low has been in fact taken out. Also it was very close to the manipulation level and traded higher from there. But again, NQ failed to take out this low, so that's called an SMT divergence, which gives additional confluence for price to trade higher. And let's also just uh, shortly explain the table. Basically, what the table is doing, it's splitting the whole session, in this case, 24 hours from the daily, into quarters. Let me turn on the time quarters. There we go. As you can see, in the first quarter, price only traded around that opening price. It didn't reach any manipulation or distribution level. So in this case, as you can see down there in the table, only the, the cell of the opening price in the first column was colored gray. In the second quarter, you can see price traded towards that manipulation level price traded through that opening level and price traded through the bearish manipulation level. So in this case, you can see all three of these columns of these cells are colored in gray. Once price continues, the cells get colored in their specific quarter. Let me see if I can quickly find an example. Let's look at four hourly ranges because yeah, the indicator allows you to calculate these statistics for basically any time frame. As you can see, for example, we are still in the first quarter of this four hour. So we are in the first hour and we've already traded through the opening, through the bearish manipulation 
and through the bullish manipulation. So all three of these cells are colored in gray. If we look at this morning, we can see the first quarter, in this case, the first hour from six to seven, only traded around that opening price. So only the opening price in the table was colored gray for the first quarter. In the second quarter, however, we traded through the opening price into the manipulation level. So these two cells are colored gray. From there, price once again traded lower, taking out this low once more. Now making the CSD, the change in the state of delivery. From here, trading higher. As you can see, we're on the third quarter now and we traded through the opening price. So once again, that cell is colored in gray. We're on the, still in the third quarter. Now, as you can see, um, we are in the fourth quarter and price just traded through the manipulation price. So that cell is colored in gray. And now, as you can see, price also reached for the distribution level. So also that cell is colored in gray and we saw a small little retracement from there. Perfect. So as you can see, for example, this is a perfect for our early candle. We started off, as I explained in the beginning, we traded lower around the time. Actually, the time was perfect. 7.54, that's the 7.50 candle. Perfect time and a perfect price level. From there, price traded higher towards that distribution level, also around the expected time of distribution. If there are any other questions, feel free to post them in the comment section below. And I wish you a very great and pleasant day. Thank you very much for listening.